my name is Brian Borum. I work at a company called Weaveworks. Uh, everything we do is open source. We're in the business of observability and monitoring and stuff like that. Um, my lightning talk is about this thing called Grafana Lib. Uh, so what's that all about? Um, Grafana, there's been lots of talks. Most of you probably seen it. It's, we, we love Grafana. It's very beautiful. You can put together dashboards. Um, the uh, thing we don't love about it is it's all done by like clicking on stuff. And, uh, and we don't like clicking on stuff. We want to check stuff into Git. That's what we want to do. Uh, so we talk a lot about Git ops. Um, everything to do with your ops is checked into Git repo. Sync it up to the cluster. Uh, everything is a git commit, great stuff, good. Um, Grafana lib is that, uh, that URL. Um, I get to play with lasers. Um, so uh, it is a Python library uh, and effectively implements a, a domain specific language for defining dashboards. So you give it uh, a dashboard defined as code and it outputs the JSON file which Grafana will open. That's what it does. Um, so here's an example. Uh, so Grafana lib um, has definitions covering Prometheus and OpenTS, DDS, OpenTDSB and Zabbix and please send us PRs for more backends. Um, so you can do this kind of thing. You can, you can say, uh, I've got a graph, and the graph has a title, and the graph has some PromQL expressions, and then I want it in milliseconds, and I, you know, there's, there's sort of hundreds and hundreds of constants and a few dozen functions defined so that instead of pointing and clicking to create your dashboard, you just type this stuff into a file and run the generator uh, in your CI, hopefully. Um, so that uh, gets a little bit repetitive. Um, actually, I'm going to show you something that's even more repetitive. But uh, <laughs> the, the thing is that, that so we have a, we have a higher, higher level um, function called a QPS graph. And, and then we don't need to tell it anything about the axes because uh, queries per second is always uh, per second. And then we, all, we format this in a specific way. We color it in a specific way. And, and then we just separate out the five different uh, error codes. This is for an HTTP service. Um, and we stick them in an array. And uh, behind the scenes, it will generate all the coloring, all the JSON, everything to make a standard QPS graph. And we have like, like hundreds of these in our monitoring dashboards for our, um, our own system. Um, and then you can write your own functions. So, uh, so we have a thing called Weave Scope, uh, which is a sort of monitoring program. And we, we do entire rows of dashboards uh, with a function which, you know, I've not put the function on the screen. You can sort of imagine how that would go. Um, but uh, that's, that's the next great thing, as well as being able to check these things into Git. You can layer uh, higher and higher and higher functionality uh, and you can generate entire dashboards, uh, if you like, with a single function. So um, that's basically it. I had a question, what about 5.0? That is an excellent question. Um, so the simple answer is, uh, uh, Grafana 5.0 will read the same JSON and will do an internal conversion. Uh, so, so it will continue to work. And the, the less simple answer is that we need to um, update Grafana lib uh, once uh, Grafana 5.0 is out mainstream. And uh, perhaps you'd like to do that. Send us a PR. Okay, thank you very much. And...